hello students welcome to this video students in this video I'm going to teach you a very interesting lesson from your supplementary book I hope everyone is excited to know the story a very very important interesting story from your supplementary book third lesson and the name of the lesson is the shepherd's treasure students you might have heard about lots of folk tales do you know what are folk tales they are very old stories um, which are made since the time of um, our forefathers parents grandparents great grandparents since their time someone has been telling the story and let one pass to the next next and next generation like that the story which you are going to study is a folk tale from Iran Iranian folk tale is a country called Iran and this story belongs to Iran in the very old days uh, maybe this sort of thing happened there which became a story okay so um, we'll read the story it's about a shepherd now first of all let me tell you who is a shepherd who is a shepherd a shepherd is a person who domesticates sheep many sheep okay uh, at times you might have seen people at least in the movies you have seen people moving with flocks of sheep many fish 50 100 sheep they move with the sheep so such people are called shepherds this is a story about a shepherd who lived in Iran once upon a time okay a poor shepherd once lived in Iran and he was see he was uneducated didn't get a chance to go for uh, proper studies but even though he was uneducated this man was very wise and he was very helpful to the people Okay, wise and helpful to the people let us go through the story and enjoy it as I told you this story is from Iran in a village in Iran there once lived a shepherd it says that long ago in Iran um, there was a shepherd who lived in a village he was very poor now this shepherd was very very poor man he did not have even a small cottage of his own just imagine how poor he was he did not have even a small cottage a very small hut a very small hut where he can stay he didn't have even a house of his own he had never been to school or learned to read and write never he, he never got a chance to go to school and as he did not go to school he was unable to read and he was unable to write what was the reason the reason was that during those days the schools were very few if you ask your grandparents you will find that during their days there were very less schools they had to face lots of problems to go to school the school was mostly far away from the village and they need to walk a long distance to reach the school okay so due to that reason this shepherd did not get a chance to attend his school therefore he could not read and write though poor and uneducated this shepherd was very wise he was uneducated Hmm. people have a uh, thinking that generally people who are educated hmm, who have uh, education those people are more wise and more wise and good but it is not true that uneducated people are foolish 
some of them like the shepherd are wise enough and he was he understood people's sorrow and troubles he was able to understand the problems of the people their sorrows and their troubles he was a person who could understand the people's problem because he himself was poor and therefore he could understand what were the problems of the people and help them face their problems with courage and common sense not only he understood their problems but he always tried to help those people in what way help them to solve their problems to face the problems with courage and common sense he encouraged the people that they should not run away from the problems instead of running away they should go ahead and they should face the problem bravely and that one with common sense you know what is common sense sometimes you might have heard people saying we don't have common sense means you can take you have the ability to take a proper decision at the proper time you realize what is right what is wrong many people came to him many people came to him for advice he became popular in the place where he stayed in that area he became popular and people often came to him to get advice from him soon he became famous for his wisdom and friendly nature very soon he became very popular for his uh, good knowledge and his friendly nature he was friendly with everyone he didn't hate anyone he had no enemy and he became so popular okay in that entire region the king of that country heard about him and thought of meeting him he became so popular the news of his popularity the news about him that he is a very good person he gives very good advice he encourages the people helps people to face the problems this news spread so far that it reached the ears of the king of that country and the king thought of meeting this shepherd disguised as a shepherd and riding on a mule one day the king came to the cave where the wise shepherd lived so what happened disguised as a shepherd disguised means what is disguised the meaning is uh, a different way to hide one's identity means if i disguise as someone else like uh, i can become a uh, Uh, an old man i can look like an old man i can do a makeup with gray hairs gray beard and mustache and dressings as an old man so what will happen if i do like that people won't be able to know me they won't be able to recognize me they will think i'm some old person so like that the shepherd disguised himself uh, the king disguised himself as a shepherd and riding on a mule now what is a mule mule is an animal which is bigger than a donkey but smaller than a horse it is called mule and one day the king was king he rode on that mule and he came to the cave where the wise man lived now <clears throat> we read that he did not have he did not own even a house a small house of his own he lived in a cave and the king came to the cave As soon as the shepherd saw the traveler coming towards the cave he rose to welcome him when the sh- when the shepherd noticed that someone has come to meet him he immediately stood up from the place where he was sitting and he ran to welcome him that means he was very hospitable now what is hospitable the way the proper way by which we treat our guests with kindness with love with welcoming nature that is hospitality so even we do like that no at our home when some guests come what we do we don't keep sitting or lying we immediately get up open the door we welcome them in so the same way the shepherd also 
did the same he whenever he saw when he saw the traveler approaching his cave he rose up from the place where he was and he ran to welcome him he took the tired traveler inside the cave gave him water to drink and share of his own meager meal what he did he took the tired traveler inside the cave gave him some water to drink and also shared his meager meal meager means very ordinary very common ordinary meal because he was a poor shepherd no you, we can't expect him to have variety of dishes different kinds of food he ate very simple meal and from his share of that meal he gave a part of it to the traveler the king rested for the night in the cave and was greatly impressed by the shepherd's hospitality and wise conversation so the king rested there along with the shepherd rested there at night and he was very impressed he became very impressed by the shepherd's hospitality the way the shepherd took care of him and the conversation the talking the talks which the shepherd had with the king was very wise he used to talk about wise ideas nice nice ideas and the king was very much impressed by their conversation though still tired the king decided to depart the next morning he said many thanks for your kindness to a poor traveler i have a long way to go permit me to leave so the king next morning he was feeling tired because he traveled a long distance to reach the shepherd though he was tired he decided to depart he decided to return back to his home and in the next morning then before leaving he thanked the shepherd he said many thanks for your kindness to a poor traveler he said thank you so much for showing so much kindness to a poor traveler like me i have a long way to go i have come from a very far place so i have a long way to go therefore please give me the permission to leave that is what we usually tell uh, the people whom we visit we visit their home and when it's time to leave the home we ask for their permission looking straight into the eyes of his guest the shepherd replied thank you your majesty for paying me the compliment of a visit after looking straight into the eyes of the traveler the poor shepherd he thanked he said thank you your majesty he was able to recognize that it was not an ordinary shepherd he was the king because we know the shepherd was very wise person so he recognized that the person in front of him was the king and he said thank you your majesty you know, when we say words like majesty uh, it is used to honor people like the kings and he thanked him for paying him a visit paying me the compliment of a visit for taking the trouble to visit him the king was astonished as well as pleased he is indeed very wise he thought to himself I need people like him to work for me and the king appointed this humble shepherd the governor of a small district so the king was astonished astonished means he was surprised the king was surprised and he was very happy also he felt pleased he thought to himself he he, he is wise indeed that was the thought that came to the king's mind that really this man is very wise and i need people like him to work for me and the king appointed this humble shepherd as the governor of a small district this is every states every state has got its own governor so those days also they were not states but different regions were there areas were there and a governor was appointed to take care of that particular area so the king appointed this shepherd as the governor of a small district you see the shepherd got a reward for his kindness for his honesty for his friendly nature he was rewarded by the king he became the governor of a small district although he rose to power and dignity the shepherd remained as humble as ever people loved and honored him for his wisdom sympathy and goodness 
after becoming the governor also there was no change in the shepherd he was never proud he still remained humble that is a great quality of great men even if they reach to certain heights they never forget uh, their reality they never forget their origin they never forget what they were at a time and this thing never makes them proud the same thing happened here with the governor uh, with the new governor the shepherd he after becoming the governor too he was not proud he became more humble than before and people loved and honored him who would not like a person who is very humble very kind very wise everyone loved him everyone loved him for his wisdom sympathy who can understand the feelings of others and his goodness because he was a very good person he was kind and just to one and all he was kind to everyone no partiality every person he was kind i told you he didn't hate anyone he liked everyone his fame as a fair and wise governor soon spread throughout the country people began to know him as a fair and wise governor fair means one who is maintains equality for all there is no partiality and this news spread throughout the country now the governors of other provinces grew terribly jealous of him and began to talk to the king against him once a person reaches a certain level of success unknowingly so many people start becoming his enemies and the same thing happened here other governors of different regions different provinces were there during those days they became jealous of this governor and they started talking against him to the king they said he is very dishonest and keeps for himself part of the money that he collects as tax from the people why did he always carry with him they added an iron chest perhaps he carried in it the treasure that he had secretly collected so they started talking against him they said this man is very dishonest ah huh. whatever taxes he collects from the people he keeps a part of that tax for himself means he steals the tax and then they said if it is not like that then why does he carry an iron chest with him all the time here chest iron chest means iron box with him so why he carries an iron box maybe he keeps a part of the treasure in that iron box that is what they said the tax which he had hiding the secretly collected after all they said mockingly he was an ordinary shepherd and could behave no better mockingly means making fun of someone mock someone means to make fun of someone so they said by making fun of him they said that after all what more he can do he is just an ordinary shepherd and he can't behave better okay so this is what they did against him and in this video i'll be discussing only up to here i'll make another video for the remaining part of the lesson now let us discuss some small small questions now you can think of the answers i'll answer it in my next video like now uh, where did the shepherd live what type of person was the shepherd who decided to meet the shepherd one day what did the shepherd do when that man came to meet him how did the king reward the shepherd what made the other governors jealous of the new governor who was actually a shepherd so i've given you some questions you can think of the answers you can also provide me the answers in the comment comment box in your google classroom and i'll give the answers in my next video but don't wait for that you can provide your own answers if i don't get enough answers from you i'm not going to give you the answers so i want all of you to provide your answers 
In this video, we'll discuss only this much. I hope you will be anxiously waiting for the next video. Thank you so much.